Hi everybody, Fintan here from Dams and Cloud, and this week we are starting a new series. Every second Thursday, we are going to do a Tech Tip Thursday, where we show you something short and sweet that hopefully you can use straight away uh, with Google Workspace. So these are going to be based on questions that we get from our customers, and we are going to hopefully make them short and sharp, so two or three minutes, and something that is actionable that you can do straight away. So this week, um, we commonly get a question about Google Drive storage and Google Drive storage has changed quite a lot. We're going to do a longer form video about that. But we often get customers asking us um, how can they quickly see the large amount of storage within their uh, Google Drive and maybe take action within there to reduce the amount of storage. OK, so I have my Gmail and my Google Drive open here. And the first thing that I want to point out is at the bottom of Gmail on the left hand side, I can see the amount of storage that I'm actually using within my account. So I'm using 116.6 gigs. And you'll notice within my Google Drive, when I look at the storage underneath the bin section here, it's exactly the same. And so it's important to note that the storage between Gmail and Drive is pooled. That's the first thing to note. The second thing is that this storage section um, is new in the last couple of years. It, it wasn't in, in Google Drive originally. When you click on it, it's a shortcut to the Google Drive quota link, which will show you all of your files within Google going from the one taking up the most amount of storage to the one taking up the least. So I can see that I have an eight gig here a file called reality check. Next one down is four gigs and three gigs and so on and so forth. And so if I didn't, uh, if I wanted to very quickly reduce the amount of storage in my Google Drive, I could select all of these files and I could free up um, several gigabytes of storage straight away. So that is probably the fastest way to reduce the amount of storage um, that you're using within your account. Um, the other one that I wanted to mention was in Gmail and you can search for size. So it says greater than and you choose the amount of megabytes, uh, KBs or bytes. Now, um, the maximum amount of an attachment in Google Drive that, that can be accepted or Gmail, sorry, uh, is 25 megs. So I might go 25 megs, anything greater than 25 megs, and it will show me everything that I have that's greater than that size. And I can select these emails and delete them. Now, in general, I don't have a lot of these because people tend to send me Google Drive documents or I tend to collaborate within Google Drive. So a lot of our customers, probably the, the quickest way to reduce your storage is actually going to be within Google Drive, not within Gmail. So that's our Tech Tip Thursday for this week. I hope you guys found this update uh, useful. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do. Um, and if uh, you are not following us on LinkedIn or Instagram or uh, Facebook or Twitter and you are on those platforms, please do give us a follow and a like on there as well. That's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. I will chat to you next week.